no gatekeeping, baby. What's up, you two? I right had the shop. Let me tell y'all what I had to do. Just sold it. <coughs> so y'all know we did the first load yesterday. Yeah. I ended up stopping. I ended up stopping at like 430 at the flying jail over the exit 122 yard. 132, y'all know what it is. The realest one know what it is. So yesterday, I used this trailer as a, as a hopper bottom, right? As a, because we did a drop load. Where as the course of nature we have it, when I went over there, once we got on the scale to dump it, that snap off, that mofo broke. Yeah, so I had, a, I had to come to the shop today. They finally got it fixed like an hour ago. But my so-called trainer or whatever, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tag team with somebody for like, you know, for like five loads. So I'm waiting on him, and I gotta teach y'all about something that some of y'all may not know about. So Texas has this thing known as the Texas ELD or Texas Time Logs, right? So the rest of the country, you know, the rest of the U.S. Time Logs is what we're calling it. Is um. Uh, you know, the 70 hours, get off for 10, 11, 14. You know what I'm saying? Are you with me? Well, guess what? Something changed, something changed. And we're going to talk about that. I didn't know. Texas got its own log system now. Tech? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I got this trailer, this was already like this. I'm not, I'm not even, yeah, we're not filing no report because we're trying to actually get out here and make some damn money. I don't know how that even happened. But the same thing, the other one ain't got one either. So, it don't matter to me, YouTube. It really don't matter. We're just out here. We on sleeper right now. There's a little gas station over there that I'm probably going to go to and hang out because that's where my so-called trainers are right now. And we should be ready to roll out of here. See? That's how you know people stay breaking that because this is one of those things right there that goes to these uh to those uh lids at the bottom. Things stay breaking, man. Stay look at it. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm gonna try to keep it buck fifty with y'all. No gatekeeping. If you wanna come here, man, there's a lot you gotta. I'm not gatekeeping, because by the time you get here, I'm gone. But 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 if you do come here while I'm here, let them know, you know. Let them know. Check the description. You know, I'm going to probably start putting my truck number on there and everything. Or just reach out to me and I'll give you some information that I'm probably not going to quite disclose on a video out here. But I'm going to be a buck fifty with y'all. All right. So there's a truck stop, like an off-ramp truck stop, like maybe three miles down the road. Yeah, we're about to go over this stage over there. Hang out to about four o'clock. And I should be getting my first load for the day over there. Why were there? Yesterday, though, was crazy. I ain't gonna tell y'all no lie. It was crazy. I think that's what we're about to do. That's the phone with the lugs, but right now I'm gonna slip a bird, so I'm pretty sure if I start moving, it will automatically adjust itself. Um, you gotta buy a lot of things that you want out here your damn self. So I went and got some paper clips. Why? Because over here, hella paperwork you gotta do. This is the BOLs, you gotta do all that. Um, every load delivery, we got like 800 apps in this. Anyways, check the description. If you're thinking about coming where I'm at, I'm probably gonna be gone. <laughs> I keep saying that I probably will be gone by the time you get here, but we're not gatekeeping. If you want the inside info, check the description, reach out to me on Snapchat, because that's the one I reply to the fastest. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And just ask me, I'm gonna keep it about 50 with you. And if you decided to come here, don't be like everybody else, man. Give credit where credit is due, man. Use me as a as a referrer, even though I'll be gone. Maybe they send me that check at the house. I keep saying that because that's a very high possibility, but it's a maybe, it's a maybe. Because it makes money, it makes sense. I got three companies, I keep saying that, that I'm gonna try. So right now it's just, uh, 
So right now this is just like uh it's just one of three companies. That's it. This one of three companies. Whichever which one of the three, I'm gonna try them all. But I try everything three times, meaning I gotta stay here to at least three paychecks for me to actually have an average. I'm not talking about orientation paycheck, because we already know, you know, you get a paycheck for orientation. I'm not talking about that. That would not be fair for me to judge the company based on the orientation paycheck. Yeah, we mean, so I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about once I actually get, I start getting actual paychecks. That's what I'm gonna go by. And then if it's not what I think it is, then we're moving on to the next, all right? Oh yeah, the dirty windshield. Don't blame me for that. Windshield's definitely dirty. Well, after the third paychecks, boom, 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 it's not what I think. We're gone, we're gone, we're gone. On to the next, boy. On to the next. Once again, you want the real truth, nothing but the truth or so. Help you, God. You know who to heat up. I'm gonna give you a how it is. Ain't no need to sugarcoat nothing. That's one thing I've never been good at is lying. Yeah, yeah, I ain't never been good at lying to y'all, man. That's why I don't endorse a lot of companies. That's why I don't endorse a lot of things. My DM is full of people wanting me to come by, take videos on their little company, advertise for them or whatever. I don't do that. I don't do this. So the same thing gonna go for this oil fuel situation, man. So y'all just hang tight. So I should be heading out of here by six. Six or four o'clock today, y'all. Six or four o'clock. I'm gonna try to pull up on a, like Flying J Loves or, or Pilot, which they got it on 20. I gotta buy the bungee cords, man, because the way these trailers are rigged up, that ain't it, that ain't it. I gotta rig them up myself. That way that, that little situation we just had with that thing breaking, that way it don't happen again, at least no my watch, you know? I'm probably gonna keep this trailer for like a week or so because yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to make this trailer my trailer. I don't know what they're talking about. This trailer about to be my trailer. Supposedly, the guy that was pulling this trailer went home. I guess he's taking his hometown. You know, which is cool. Ain't no, no, no problem. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But uh, they're not going to let me get under a hopper bottom, even though that's what I was recruited for. That's another. Uh, anyways, I'm telling you, uh, if you're actually interested, in any kind of oil fuel or any companies that I'm going to be posting in the future, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Mm, hey, 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 Joe, you're calling, bro, but I'm recording a video, so I'm going to have to call you back. All right, bro? In case you see this video, you were calling when I was recording, my boy. You know the other number, man. You know the other number, bro. Why ain't you calling the other number, man? Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, boy. Man, right, here we go. Like some of y'all may know this truck stop, J. It's TJ's. It's fairly simple. Right down the street, y'all. Right down the street. It ain't, ain't really much to it. Right down the street. So I'm just gonna pull in here for a little bit. Hang out. Until about four o'clock, we should, we should be when we get our first load. Cause I still I still gotta stick I still gotta stick with this dude for a little bit. I gotta stick with him for about five more loads. We did one yesterday. I didn't get off till like four thirty in the morning because we pick up at U U.S. Silica. And to the destination, it was, yeah, 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 it, it was a long ass way. Plus, we were overweight, so we had to take the back roads. It's going to probably take me a while for me to learn that stuff, how to use the back roads for things like, you know, like that. But we're going to get better at it. We're going to get better at it. 
by the your seatbelt is unbuckled. By the time the, those three paychecks come in, I should be pretty good. We got that lake right here, which is right across the truck stop. You know, you can come out here and haul some fuel, boy. All that good stuff. There's too much money here, man. There's too much money here, my boy. Too much money. You can get it however. Get it with a nomadic hopper bottom. You can get it with a water tanker. You can get it with a regular tanker. You can get it with hauling fuel. Get it with hauling uh, crude oil. You can get it by doing flatbed. Whatever you, however you want to get this money, you can get it. There's too many different kind of money out here. There goes somebody's girl right there sitting there picking her nose like a motherfucker. <laughs> that girl getting deep in those nostrils, boy. But yeah, there's too much money out here, boy. Too much money out here. Come and get it how you live, my boy. You want it, come and get it. That's all I'm saying. You want it, come and get it. We're here. We're about to back up. You know how that go. Nice and steady, man. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. I ain't gonna lie. I have it. I like. <laughs> it's been so long since I was in the orphanage. It's gonna take me a little bit to get our bug back. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like that excitement, like that. Because your body got to get used to these type of things, man. OTR. OTR is a little bit different out here. And Texas is out here on a whole different ball game now, too. They're doing their whole thing when it comes to these HOS hours, which I'm going to break down for y'all because I know most of y'all probably haven't heard of it yet. So I'm going to break it down for y'all, man, with the, with the Texas clock. I'm going to break down the Texas clock for y'all. Which is great because it allows us to pretty much do a lot of things, man. A whole lot of things. A whole lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know my seatbelt is off. Y'all calm down. And, and and I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Another thing I wanna touch up on, on this video, like number one, it's the Texas time. I may have to screen record that just to kind of show y'all. But it's good, so but, 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 but let me go ahead and park first, man, before I start all that. Let me park first. So that's my trainer right there. Or uh, or whatever you want to call it. I don't need no training. I, I know I know how to do the thing, but regulation detect that you gotta I guess you gotta ride with a trainer for five loads. We did one last night. We would have been we would have been done with another one already today. If uh if we didn't have the lead the the the, the lead situation, you know what I'm saying? The lead uh mess the lead lead messing up and then but you know the shop got it handled. The shop got it handled, you feel me? So we we should be good now. So probably by like four o'clock we're gonna roll out. Hopefully do like two, three loads. People always talking about my eye booger, just so y'all know, I don't know what it is. It's an African thing, man. And also, it don't really be boogers. It be like dust. Dust. That side of my eyes is always wet, you know? So whenever I have dust hitting my face, it just gets stuck right there. That's all. Got up this morning, we wash our face and all kind of nonsense. But literally, if you look, you can see the dust particles flying in here. That's just that all feel life. That's just that all feel life. Sometimes it's just that trucking life. You know, it don't really matter because you'll be going to some of these uh this uh the customers uh freaking parking lot is nothing but dust. You know what I'm saying? And you got the AC running, things coming through the here, yeah, so All right, there we go. So, and I'm trying to see if I should do it like this or if I should do it with um, screen recording it. 
so y'all can see it. So I'm gonna talk about it briefly, then that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna screen recording and then explain again. So the state of Texas, instead of your typical 11, 14, and 70, the state of Texas has, instead of 14, we got 15 down here, all right? And the Texas slugs, meaning if you're running in the oil field or you're interstate, not interstate, intrastate, you're staying within the state. I think it's mainly in the oil field, right in the OTR, obviously. Um, Instead of 14, you got 15. Instead of 11, I think you got 12. And then you got that little 70 hour situation. All right. So it allows you, like, I think an extra day more to stay on duty and an extra time to drive. No, you're on duty and then, uh, uh, yeah. It just allow you to have like an extra hour to do things on duty, whatever. Driving, I think driving is twelve, but I just not noticed that. I, I, I just did my first load yesterday. All right, so I actually got the time. I'm still learning the logs here. This company used this uh, app called Samara, Samara or something like that, man. So anyway, so that's what it is. I'm going to stop this recording. I'm going to hop on their screen record so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. So hopefully it makes sense, all right? This is what I'm talking about. You know how usually on your 70, right? This is hours of service. Usually on the 70, you know, the drive is like 11. As you can see, I just drove over here. So you know I got 10. And usually the total ship is like 14 over here. Since I've literally used up about an hour on duty, pre-trip this morning, yada, yada. So now I got 14. You can tell I got 14. Point one four, so that that started at a fifteen, okay. So that's the difference between Texas hours, and then they got what they call the U.S. They, you got the one they call the U.S. hours or whatever the hell, okay. So the Texas hours in the oil field, the drive time is twelve hours. Your total shift or on duty hours instead of fourteen, we we got fifteen. Now we still got the 70 hours shift, all right? We get we still got the 70 hours a week. And also the crazy thing about the, the Texas thing is you can stop the clock whenever. That's what I was told. And I'm learning that, but I will probably make another video later on down the road. So over here, if you look, if, if you look over here, you know how some back in the day, if you OTR, and let's say you go on duty or you go off duty, your 14 still gonna keep running down over here. That stops. If you go on the sleeper bird, that so yeah, that's what I'm, I'm need, I need to do. So instead of uh, off duty, I'm gonna go on sleeper bird, save, and it will stop. So when we come back down the line, down the road, sometime that 14 point 14 gonna stay. It's gonna stay. It ain't. It shouldn't go nowhere. Now, what I don't understand is I don't know if that 59.34 hours on my cycle, my, if that's still going to drain down like it does when you're on OTR and that's known as U.S. time. This is just Texas time. Not every state is like this. But Texas is trying to stand out of certain things. You know, Texas is trying to do its own thing. So, which is good. I, I'm proud of Texas, man. I'm proud of Texas. Trying to give truckers some money. Anyways, that's pretty much. So, that's that. Instead of 11, we got 12. Instead of 14 on the total shift, we got 15, and then the cycle is still 70 hour cycle. So that's what we got. It, they just give us an extra one hour to drive and an extra one hour for on duty. To I guess instead of you having only three extra hours to fix stuff, um, get gas or whatever, we got four extra hours in the office. So if you know how to use this clock good, that can lead to a lot of things. You know what I mean. That can lead to a lot of things, my boy. This can lead to two, three, three, four loads a day if you know how to mess with this app. If you know how to mess with the ELD. Because we can stop the ELD out here in the oil field in the state of Texas. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to give you more time to work and more time to flip loads, technically speaking. Yeah, say what you all want, but I bet that's something you all didn't know. <laughs> I bet that's something you all didn't know. Texas out here, you know, trying to put a little bit more money in our pocket. So with that being said, that's really great. That's great. So we over here. It is four o'clock now, so I'm gonna start picking. Uh, I, I I text my boy, so whenever he ready, I'm ready to roll. 
we should get some of this money. So that's that's the difference between Texas time and U.S. time. Okay, I just wanted to take this video and make that for y'all, cause I'm just not learning this, and y'all can learn this. You get more hours driving in the state of Texas than you do driving in the rest of the country. Instead of 11, 14, we get 12, 15. You know what I'm saying? So, if that doesn't equal to some money, then I don't know what you're doing in truck. You give me one, two extra hours, man, I, I, I'm going to figure something to do with it. You know, so you should be able to figure something to do with it. So, anyways, day two. Y'all hang tight, we're about to drop out. We're about to drop that video of uh the second load. Our second loads in the office. We done the first one. I got a video, I ain't dropped it yet. Y'all hang tight. And you know, we don't do no fancy editing. You are just gonna get put together and give it to y'all. That's what y'all gonna have to deal with, all right? But keep in mind, you get more hours in the state of Texas, the ELD is different out here when you do intrastate trucking aka all field in the state of texas man